Hello, beautiful Libras. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming to the channel and viewing. Please hit the like button. It really helps the algorithms on YouTube. I appreciate that and your subscriptions. Thank you so much. Um, I'm pulled to these secret messages from your person, the one that is on your mind, the one you came to this reading about. What do they secretly want Libra to know? What do they secretly want Libra to know, Spirit? What does this person on Libra's mind want them to know? I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. I want to move on and let you go, but I just can't. Sometimes something keeps pulling me back to you. I feel like we have unfinished business to handle first. I want to take care of you, but I can't right now because of money problems. I feel weak and lack confidence. I can't be what you need. I want to be honest and tell you what's really going on in my life. I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love that you deserve. I'm too stuck in my ego right now. I still have a lot to learn. I know that I'm disappointing you and that you want to talk, but I'm just not ready for this. That's what they want to tell you. Libra. Libra, Libra energy messages for Libra. Unleash your kindest self. Find a balance, Libra energy. Assess the situation and be humble. Hmm. Shine. A lot of Leo energy in here. Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini. Speak your world into being. please for the beautiful Librans this person needs to be humbled okay or maybe they are being humbled but spirit is telling you to remain humble reassurance of the golden light Devotion, spiritual service, and the keys of light. So someone is of spiritual service, is very devout, is being handed the keys of light, shine, hmm. some kind of order or ceremony Libra someone has been devoted to spiritual service something to do with health and rebirth surrender teaching and learning and abundance individuality so this person's finances might be affected their health might be affected they it's like 
you have rebirthed yourself by surrendering this energy it's teaching and learning maybe you were of spiritual service to people or helping others to bring you in some sort of abundance health it's karmic energy or a capricorn energy learning teaching and learning too many choices too many options this person's health might be being affected something to do with um There could have been a physical altercation. Or is this just too many options, obstacles, challenges, or a fight? What's going on? There might have been a ceremony involved here. So maybe you were married to this person or in a higher level of commitment with this person, they may have put you in a competition. This is a choice here, making a choice. This is the Empress energy and there is an Emperor here. What's going on? King of Wand energy. Hmm. What is this? Entrapment? Too much. Hmm. Hang on. Insecure insecurities fear maybe they fear marriage or commitment the point of the matter is this person said they just don't know how to behave in a committed relationship that's what they're saying they struggle with being in a committed relationship it's yeah i just don't know how to act in a committed relationship I want you to move on and let you go, but they they still feel like there's unfinished business. I want to take care of you, but I can't right now because of money problems. I feel weak. I can't be what you need. They're struggling with insecurity issues. They're struggling with perhaps health issues. They don't know how to act in a committed relationship. And it's like they want to be honest with you and tell you what's really going on in their life. They say they're coming back to you when they're ready to give you the love that they deserve. So, yeah, it's, they don't know how to act in a committed relationship. So you could have been married to this person or a higher level of commitment with this person, but their issues are their own issues. They struggle with insecurity and fear. And what's going on in their life right now that they can't, uh, they're not ready for this. Trust issues, you know, insecurity issues. 
They know you want to talk. Mm. What's going on in their life right now? They may deal with other lovers. There's someone else involved. You may have divorced this person. Or you may have... They're saying, I know you want to talk. They want to tell you what's really going on in their life right now. What's going on in their life? Rejection? They got money problems. Yeah. That's why. They could be struggling with uh, their health as well. That's why they're not talking. That's why they're not uh, being honest with you. Hmm. That's what they're not telling you. They're in that damned uh, player energy, and it's like they could have got a sexual disease. <laughs> they're struggling financially. Hmm. So this is king and queen of wands here. They are attracted to the Queen of Wands. But there's too many people involved here. Oh my. So it's like this King of Wands is dealing, was dealing with the Queen of Wands, is dealing with like a wifey energy or someone they were married to and a queen of swords. They're having financial issues, financial problems, and it's looking like some health problems. It's like they're telling you to move on. So maybe they thought that they had some unfinished business with somebody. So this is individuality. You're left single or they're single or They know that they pushed you away. They know that they hurt you. They're avoiding communication. Mm. Mm. That's a passion. Mm. So, this person could be struggling right now with their health, with a sexual matter. Yep. That they're hiding, keeping secret. 
they could have been hiding a secret mistress or like the more that you the more deceptive they are the more secretive they are the more that your intuition has been kicking in it's like they want to tell you but whoever this high priestess is like they know what's going on in this person's life so here is temperance angel this is a light worker someone who is of service you could be a tarot card reader or someone who is being of spiritual um, service, teaching and learning. This is a warrior. This is someone uh, very humble. This is someone who just knows more than they let on, but are remaining humble. They already know what's going on in this person's life. Mm. they're saying I know you're my soulmate you make me happy you they see this queen of wands as their soulmate who makes them happy they know that this person is their one and true love but what is this So this person does things spur of the moment or are reckless or maybe they're acting like they're angry at you or they want to come chasing but they're angry at themselves because they don't feel that they have enough to offer you the respect and honor that you deserve because they were sneaky they want to talk but they would have to tell you the truth about the third parties that they're burdened with they got a lot going on in their life right now that they're stressing out and worrying about telling you the truth something they got to heal from something shocking Rebirth. Partnership. Four of Wands. Stuck. Mm. Judgment. So this person is saying like you might get angry and judge them for what they did because there's something fishy going on here. Offer you what you deserve. Hang on. See, they want to offer you what you deserve. They feel that they cannot offer you. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, like out of all the relationships that this person has had, they don't know how to behave in a committed relationship. They got a lot going on behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of. If you're the high priestess, you already know what they're hiding. And it very well could be that they've had a child. 
they're holding on to you so something has changed in their finances they're pinching their pennies they are waiting know you're very they're longing for you it's like oh yes yeah, so they have they're always searching whoever they were searching out to they regret doing it they're ashamed they're embarrassed of what they did but they see this queen of wands as their forever person they can't stop thinking about telling you the truth something about their past something about children and family they see long term with you huh They feel there's unfinished business, that the cycle is not over somehow. There's, they want to take care of you, but they can't because of money problems. They feel like they can't be what you need. They want you to move on and let go, but they can't. It's just, they have unfinished business to handle that unfinished business they're depressed they're sad hmm They're saying that they regret that they're embarrassed somehow that they can't take care of you. Something about wish fulfillment. <laughs> Betrayal, backstabbing. Hmm. You are my one true love. Hmm. Something is going on here. They want you to move on. They want to move on, but they can't. Some the it's too strong a pull. Hmm. So they are definitely watching you, keeping tabs on you. What's going on in their life right now is that they were manipulated out of some kind of money. Uh, I'm not picking up for your person. They were also a manipulator. They were also uh, contributing to this. Maybe they just are reckless, immature. They know they were. They know they hurt you and took advantage of you. But what they're going through is a tower. Something that they did. It's like their health has been affected and their money has been affected. 
they did something foolish and reckless. They may have manipulated you, but they're being manipulated. And it looks like being manipulated for money. And there could be a child involved. They're not ready to talk. They know they're disappointing you. They got a lot to learn. They're stuck in their ego. That's what they're saying. They're foolish, reckless, immature, irresponsible. They don't know how to act in a relationship. So this is person is saying that you know they could do things foolish and reckless when they're drinking like cheating doing things recklessly with their money as well and jeopardizing their health they don't know how to have a healthy relationship they really don't know how They think that you don't know everything that's going on in your life. And the truth is, is that you probably have a very good idea of what's going on in their life. They're going broke. This other lover is causing them their health and their finances. Their health is failing. They're jeopardizing their own health. And they're jeopardizing their own finances. They don't want to tell you what they've been up to, but the, they feel this. They know there's unfinished business. But they got to surrender something. And what they got to surrender are their bad habits. They have to surrender their impulsive behavior, their insecurity issues, their ego. They, have, they don't know how to behave. This is a person who starts out like very sincere. They mean what they say, but then it just like poof, goes away. You know what I mean? They are reckless they just don't think before they act and then before you know it they get themselves in over their head that even they can't handle so how are they going to explain it to you when they can't explain it themselves they know you deserve more spirit saying focus in on your spiritual service Surrender this person. Rebirth your own life. Look after your own health. Be individual right now. So you're devoted right now to your of spiritual service. While this person, yeah. This person wants to shine, but the truth is you are shining. This person is being humbled. They are being shown that they're not all that in a bag of chips. In essence, it's being revealed to them. They could have Leo energy or Virgo energy or Capricorn energy. They could have Gemini energy or they're dealing with a Gemini energy or they're dealing with a Capricorn or they're dealing with 
something that has really affected their financial health and their physical health. They've had play your ways for too long and it's catching up with them. They are being humbled. They make promises that, that they can't deliver on because, quite honestly, this person's uh, upbringing, it's their upbringing. They don't know how to be in a committed relationship. Maybe they never saw their folks in a committed relationship. Maybe they came from like a torn family or a split family or they seen their parents do this or their mentors do this, you know? And it's like, they just don't know how to be. They're irresponsible. They need to grow up a whole lot. They might be more mature. They might be older, but their mentality is like as a, of a child. Now this person, the unfinished business that they could be talking about, um, yes, there's unfinished business with you, but they had unfinished business with someone from their past. And it's sort of like a baby mama energy. Someone who had children or someone who they had a child with. They're acquiring a bunch of karmic debt is what they're doing. Because this person was playing many people. They were not committed to any of them. Because they don't know how to be in a committed relationship. This is a runner. Someone who runs from their problems. Runs. They're actually running from themselves. They don't know how to handle confrontation or conflict. They don't know how to handle obstacles or challenges they just run from it they go to the next person to they get all their advice from people around them and they really don't know how to handle a relationship they honestly do not that's what it's saying it's not a personal attack upon Libra it's that the, it's this person saying it's their own issues that they're struggling with it had nothing to do with Libra it's themselves they have the problem with you could have been a saint you know and this person still would not know how to be in a relationship they don't know how to stay committed. They're flighty. They do things spur the moment. They're just like, especially add alcohol to the situation. This person's like anything goes. Easily let. They're in it for the moment. They don't think about the consequences of their actions. And that's why Spirit is telling you to move on because unless this person is willing to change themselves, there's nothing you can do to change them. They have a lot of baggage from their past that they're bringing with them, you know. Childhood wounds they've never dealt with. Uh, they don't know. they never seen a good relationship. You know? They don't know what one is. It's unfortunate, really, because 
this person is actually saying that they truly love you, but they do not know how to be in a committed relationship. They don't know how. They can't control their urges. They can't control this person's struggles with loneliness and depression. And they, as soon as they feel ignored or as soon as they feel like they're alone, they want someone new. It's You could be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and this person is still feeling lacking, like something is missing from their life. That's what it's saying. And they fill it with, like, alcohol or drugs or stimulants, sexual stimulants, sexual addictions, whatever the case may be but they still feel void they feel empty inside and an empty person cannot offer you anything but their problems it's their problem to fix that's what they need to address and they know it they're admitting it so in the meantime spirit is saying be you, boo. <laughs> Don't let this person hold you back. Don't let, even though there's unfinished business, don't let it hold your life up or hold you up. You go on living. You be the best you that you can be. Some people will never change. These are just the way certain people are if they're not willing to go seek professional help and counseling this is something that this person can't achieve on their own it's going to require professionalism to help this person to change so take care have a great day everyone